In this video, I give you my overall verdict along with what I consider to be the main pros and cons of the Oral-B Smart 2000. Hey, it's John from Electric Teeth here. We assist you in selecting the right dental care products and understanding common dental health care topics. I'm going to jump straight in and give you my overall verdict, but do stay tuned as I'll be giving you some tips and tricks to put you on the path to good oral health. The Smart 2000 is our top choice for an electric toothbrush today. It has the essential features you want at an affordable price. It is a strong performer that cleans the teeth well. Now just before I run through the main pros and cons, I want you to know that irrespective of the toothbrush you use, it is important to brush your teeth twice a day for two minutes. And you need to use the correct brushing technique when doing so. It's also important to clean in between the teeth at least once a day as well, using floss or interdental brushes. If you follow these four key steps, you'll be on the path to creating a good oral care routine. So then let's take a look at the main pros and cons, starting with the pros. The first positive has to be that the Smart 2000 has a built-in timer and pacer to encourage you to brush for the dentist recommended two minutes. Now, during that two minute cleaning cycle, it's important to brush all the teeth evenly so they get a fair amount of attention. And the way you do that is with the Oral-B is you break your mouth up into four sections, essentially. You've got the upper right, upper left, lower right, and lower left, and you spend 30 seconds cleaning each of those sections or quadrants as they are otherwise known. So as soon as you power on the Smart 2000, the built-in timer will begin. And at 30 second intervals, you'll get a pause in the brush motor, and that's your cue to move from one quadrant to the next. So you begin brushing in the upper right, for example, and when the pacer kicks in at 30 seconds, you move to the upper left and so on, until at the end of the two minutes, you've brushed for the dentist recommended two minutes, and you should have a lovely thorough clean of all the teeth and gums in your mouth. Another positive has to be the visible pressure sensor on the neck of the brush handle here that alerts you when you're brushing too hard. This to us is an essential feature of any good electric toothbrush. And on the Smart 2000, you have a 360 degree uh, visible pressure sensor that will illuminate red when too much pressure is detected. Now, too much pressure when brushing can be damaging to the teeth and gums. You don't need to scrub the teeth hard to get an effective clean. The bristles essentially need to skim the surfaces of the teeth. So when the brush detects that you're brushing with too much force, this light will illuminate to alert you. And as the sensor is activated, the motor will also slow down the amount of movements to the brush head uh, on this handle as well. Only when the pressure is relieved will the light go out and the motor return to the full power so you can continue brushing. Now, it may take some practice to get used to the right amount of pressure to use, but ultimately you don't want to activate the pressure sensor. At times you will inevitably do that, but as you get used to using the electric toothbrush, you'll realize what the correct amount of pressure to use is, and over time you will reduce the number of times that you actually activate that sensor. Another positive is that you get over two weeks of use on a full charge from this brush. Built in is a rechargeable lithium ion battery, which gives a claimed two plus weeks of battery life from Oral-B. In our hands-on testing, we've achieved uh, around about 20 days based on one user brushing twice a day for two minutes. So that's a good amount of battery life. It's not the shortest amount of battery life we've seen in electric toothbrush, and it's by no means the longest, but that should be enough if you're going away on vacation or anything like that so that you can go away and not have to worry about taking the charging stand with you. When the battery is low, you will get a warning through the battery indicator on the front of the brush handle. Uh, it will light up red, and then you can put the toothbrush on charge. It takes around about 12 hours to charge it fully, but you'll get an indicator light on here as well to uh, signal to you that it is charging when sat on that stand also. The fourth and final main positive with this electric toothbrush is that you get uh, multiple cleaning modes out of the box. Now Oral-B suggests that you get a daily clean and sensitive mode, so that's two cleaning modes available. On this model that I've actually received here, on this Smart 2000, I have three cleaning modes available and that third cleaning mode is whitening. So that may be an advantage for some. Uh, I don't particularly rate the whitening mode overall. The daily clean and sensitive mode are the most attractive modes on any electric toothbrush brush uh, so you have those as standard on the smart 2000 just be aware uh, that if you pick up the smart 2000 you may get that third mode that's going to be an added bonus but all be officially state uh, that it comes with two modes daily clean and sensitive 
The daily clean is the more powerful of the uh, modes, so that's designed for everyday cleaning. And then you have the option of the sensitive mode, which is a little bit more gentle, is ideally suited if you've perhaps got sensitive or tender gums, uh, maybe you've got a bit of red or puffiness or bleeding. You can use that lower power mode to be a little bit more gentle on the tissues within the mouth and enjoy brushing a little bit more. And you'll find that you get a small oscillating rotating brush head included in the box. As standard, it's typically the sensitive brush head that you see here. So that's got nice soft bristles and that partners well with both of the cleaning modes uh, available on this toothbrush. Oral B do offer a range of interchangeable brush heads which you can use with this brush handle if you would prefer. So if, for example, you prefer the cross action brush head or the 3D white brush head, then you can certainly use this with this brush handle if you would like to do so. But overall, it gives a really good thorough clean of the teeth and gums and I'm impressed with the options that you've got available here. So then let's move on to some of the cons of this electric toothbrush and to be fair these aren't the most significant uh, negatives of any electric toothbrush because overall the Oral-B Smart 2000 is a very good electric toothbrush indeed. The first and primary negative has to be the lack of cleaning mode icons or labels on the brush handle. There's no way of actually knowing which mode that you've actually selected uh, with this electric toothbrush. So when you turn the brush on via the power button, the first mode that is activated is the daily clean mode and you have to press the button a second time to activate the sensitive mode and potentially a third time to get that third whitening mode if it's available on your brush handle. But there's no way of confirming that you've actually got the appropriate mode selected. You just need to learn how many times to press the button. It would be nice if there were some icons on the brush handle here uh, to actually show you which mode you've got selected. So you just had that extra peace of mind that you have indeed selected the sensitive mode for example. And another con in line with the cleaning modes is the fact that it always defaults to the standard daily clean mode. Now in principle there's nothing wrong with that because the daily clean mode is the mode that most people are going to stick to, gives a good overall clean of the teeth and gums. But let's say your preference is the sensitive cleaning mode, every time you turn the brush on you have to press the power button twice, once to turn it on and a second time to move through to that second sensitive cleaning mode. It's just slightly frustrating that the brush doesn't remember the last mode that you were using. So if you always use sensitive mode, you're always gonna have to press that power button twice rather than it defaulting to the sensitive mode even if that is your preference. And the third and final con really is a little bit petty, but despite the name, this is not a smart toothbrush. Yes, there are some smart features in here. It cleans the teeth really well, has this pressure sensor, which is smart in terms of the way the technology is used. But often the term smart is associated with toothbrushes that have Bluetooth connectivity uh, built in and this toothbrush doesn't. This does not pair with a smartphone, it does not have an app or anything like that. So there's no way to control your toothbrush remotely or configure it in any way. Um, so the name's just potentially a little bit misleading because often smart is associated with Bluetooth enabled toothbrushes, which this is not. So there we have it, that's my overall verdict on the Oral-B Smart 2000. I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, click subscribe. And if you want tips and tricks on how to improve your oral health, watch this video here.